Fulgore ranks pretty high on my list of favorite video game characters of all time. Seriously, and as I've mentioned many times before, combining the Predator, Robocop, and Terminator into a single character is one of the greatest ideas ever, as those are some of my favorite movies of all time. So naturally, I have pretty high hopes for Fulgore coming up in the new Killer Instinct, and like I was showing before with the previous outfits and DLC costumes that were revealed in the Killer Instinct art book, there was also full concept art as well as full final art for Fulgore in the new Killer Instinct, and holy good god, they nailed it. I'm actually extremely happy with this design of Fulgore. Not only does it really take the stuff that we knew of the old Fulgore and really incorporate it into a new one, he looks new and different at the same time, which I really like, and he looks a lot more detailed. The only gripe I see when you first initially look at him is that, yeah, his legs look very skinny. However, there is some concept sketches that if you go later in, it shows you full detailed sketches of the character. And shockingly, the legs look a lot different and meatier, so it, I think that this is going to be a thing that was kind of just in this concept sketch that might be that way. But I highly doubt he's going to have these kind of stubby, weird-looking legs when he actually gets into the game. Nonetheless, I think Fulgore is going to be a very tall character amongst the cast. He might actually be as tall as, um, maybe a bit shorter than a character like Chief Thunder. Because Thunder and Glacius are really tall in the game right now, but let's talk about a little bit more of his art. There's several shots that show multiple different versions of Fulgore, like different types of upper body types and stuff like that. And it looks like he was at one point very much more top heavy than he is now. They actually slimmed him down quite a bit in his final design, although he still is very top heavy, but retains a very much a Terminator look. I think this looks way more Terminator than any of the previous Fulgores. Um, for example, the original Fulgore design was a dude in a suit. Like, quite literally, all it was was just kind of like the Predator, but just metallic. But in Killer Instinct 2, they changed things quite a bit. They gave him more of like a less robust look, and they slimmed down his waist like crazy to make him more of a Terminator appearance. And they kind of preserved that with the new uh, with the new Fulgore in Killer Instinct 3. Which I kind of like. I do like the Terminator-esque design, especially to the waist and hips. I think that looks really good with like the little tube sticking out. I, I want to see what it looks like in motion until we get an actual big, fair judgment. There were also some previous designs that were going over different versions of Fulgore that potentially what he could have looked like. Because it looks like this was one of the most designed characters in the entire game. Like, honestly, between all the different concept sketches that they have within this book, there are so many different versions of Fulgore in here that it's nuts. Between him having dreads for the hair, not having hair at all, not even having the blades. There's one that looks very reminiscent to, like, District 9 style of, um, of like, enemies and, like, robotics and stuff like that. Which makes sense, because it's something that was very popular and looked cool in those movies, so I'm not surprised if Killer Instinct, the new one, is taking inspiration from current generation films and stuff like that, because that's all the old Killer Instinct was. Now let's, let's move into some more specifics about his design, because I can talk about like the body and everything like that. I like the way it looks a lot. I like the fact that he has like small little highlights, and the, the under part of his skin that kind of looks like muscles is kind of like this weird car carbon fiber like thing, and it looks like it's somewhat like bio organic at the same. I like that. I think that's the word I'm looking for. It's that it's like bio organic, that it's like metallic, but it's still got like an organism on the inside, which leads me to believe that Fulgore uh, could potentially be like a dude in there. It never was revealed before that if Fulgore actually had any like human to him at all. But who knows, we'll see. I only know that there was an element in the comic book that I think Chief Thunder's brother was actually Fulgore in one of the crazy old Killer Instinct comics, which was from a hell of a long time ago. Now moving forward, there is a part of the design that I like the most over absolutely anything, and it's the face. Holy good God, dude, they nailed the face so damn well. This thing looks great. It just looks too good. I was kind of worried that they were going to add, like, something different to Fulgore, like, really change the face up, because the face is very Predator-ish. I mean, everyone will admit that. It looks very much like the Predator masks do from the movies and the games. And I'm really, really, really glad they decided not to alter it too much, only slightly. He still has the giant, like, face plate thing where he does no mouth. I'm so glad he does not have a mouth. And his glowing red eyes are just the character. That is Fulgore. Every single piece of box art you've seen is this iconic character with these glowing-ass red eyes and this huge, ridiculous, like, blonde ponytail. And both of those are going to be there. It's kind of hard to see if the ponytail is going to turn into this thing that's going to be like a laser ponytail, kind of how Strider has a laser scarf. 
but we'll see. I would I would think that would make sense, and I'm fine with that. Uh, it's kind of funny that he had a tuft of hair, kind of for the hell of it in the old games. But you know, I, I kind of appreciate that thing, and I'm glad that he still has that because it's still it's still full gore, like to the core, to the blades and everything. And oh my god, dude, I can't I cannot get over how awesome this face looks. It looks way too good, especially the side profile of it. It looks fantastic. So. I'm just really pleased with Fulgore. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this breakdown. I cannot wait till we see this character in-game and moving. I don't think we're going to see anything until March of next year, sadly so. I want them to take their time. I know that all the previous characters, the six characters in Killer Instinct, were made within a year. It's kind of good they didn't make ten characters and make like a kind of like half-assed version of the cast. We have six really solid characters, but now with Spinal and Fulgore, hopefully the dudes at Double Helix are going to get time to kind of like buckle down and really focus on these two because especially Fulgore, I think he's he's really important for Killer Instinct. He's really, really important to make people be like whoa, dude, look at that freaking character. Oh my god, he looks awesome. And I can only hope that certain things are done with his design like I want to see his blades like fly across the screen like that rush punch he had before. I want to see sparks flying out of his feet and shit fire behind him and stuff like that. I I want him to be a badass robot because he had some really interesting interesting moves in the previous KI that weren't really utilized very well, and he was kind of like a boring robot that is chopped at people with his swords. I think there's a lot more opportunities that they can do with Fulgore as a character and like transforming into things that I really would like to see. I'd like to see them go crazy with the animations of this guy to make him look that damn cool and to really like pull people into Killer Instinct. But let me know what you guys think of Fulgore. Let me know what you think of his design. Do you agree with me? Do you think it's good? I hope the legs are a thing where you see it in game, it's going to look a lot different because it looks a lot different in other artwork. And uh, yeah, overall, like 10 out of 10, extremely pleased. And I don't think I could have asked for a better Fulgore design. And I can't freaking wait for this character to come out for future iterations and more information on Fulgore. Stay here, guys. If I can possibly get an interview or the first opportunity to get some Fulgore gameplay, I will definitely do so with the Double Helix, guys. But that won't be for a little while. So I appreciate a subscription. We'll be back with more Killer Instinct videos as soon as possible. My name is Maximilian, and I'll see you guys next time.